Hello everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. My name is Sam, welcome, happy you're here. Today I am gonna be bringing some of my favorite TV shows to real life in a really fun way. I am gonna be making custom merch, but not, you know, for typical artists, YouTubers, etc. like we've done and seen in the past. I am making custom TV merch for my favorite TV shows. Now, I know you can get a lot of like custom made or kind of like knockoff merch online Line, but I thought it would be a really fun challenge to try and make it myself and maybe I can show you guys like some easy ways to do it yourself too for your favorite TV shows because some of us have favorite TV shows like Friends. I know super original right? It, everyone likes it. It's a good show for a reason like that's why people talk about it. <laughs> okay. If you have a favorite TV show that's a little older like mine it's really hard to get merch for it. Maybe we want to DIY it. Maybe you want a fun DIY DIY projects for you and your friends. That is what today's video is gonna be. Let's start off with the favorite TV show of mine that I've already mentioned, Friends. I decided I wanted to play around with iron-on printing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me explain. This is transfer paper. If you use an inkjet printer, which I actually just got for this video, you essentially can print out any design, place it on any piece of fabric, and then you iron it, and it transfers the image, text, whatever, onto the piece of clothing, and it is essentially custom-made merch. This was, I wanna say, $10 from Walmart. Also, if you're like me and you're like, well, I don't have a printer, I just got this printer on sale at Walmart for $19. So this is pretty affordable and it came with some ink, so we are all set, really. So first, let's talk design. I have this basic white Fruit of the Loom pocket tee that I got at Walmart as well. It was like $4. I wanted to go the route of pulling almost an actual scene from friends and printing it out. So I found this pretty good quality image with the subtitles, I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love. And that just feels perfect. So I wanna print it small enough to where it fills up the pocket. And I feel like that would look really sick. So we're gonna take this buddy. So we'll do five inches wide and I only want it to come up to the seam, four inches tall. Now, the most important thing about this is you have to remember to flip the image. You're putting it face down on the fabric and then ironing it. So you take the image, flip horizontal. So it looks backwards right now, but it is not. This is so important, especially with text. So once you've flipped it, you're all set. It's time to print this. Let's see if this comes out out printed on the right side. Yes! Okay, is that gonna fit? We'll find out. Now I have this set up. I am going to cut out the image very carefully. Let's kind of size this up. Okay, that's pretty darn good. If you want a matte finish, you're gonna peel it while it's still hot. So after you iron it, you're gonna wait. It says three to five seconds and remove the backing paper using a smooth, even motion. If you want it to be shiny, you're gonna wait at least two minutes. I want it to be matte. Okay, this is the moment of truth. I am just going to line it up. Okay, let's just do it. If this works out perfectly, I am gonna make all of my clothes. I already don't like how much ink I see coming up. Like, oh my goodness. So you can definitely tell where, I guess that means I should have spent more time there, but I also love how it kind of just makes it look worn and or like vintage. Guys, this actually turned out pretty good. I am gonna put it on and then go around and just like see what people say about it. Considering this is my first attempt doing anything with iron on, that's pretty darn good. Let's get some reactions. So. I made some custom merch for like one of my favorite TV shows. That's one of my favorite Chandler lines too. Yeah, isn't it kind of sick? Does that legit just explain <laughs> to me? I'm just kidding. I know. I love that. You so have no idea. I got iron on like transfer paper and it is the no. easiest thing in the world. I should do And that. I'm obsessed. Can you make? Yeah, if you have a t-shirt that like you want me to iron anything onto, just let that me know. 
dope. So this shirt was definitely a success. It is now time to move on to another item to DIY. I just got this really simple like canvas bag from Walmart as well. It was three bucks. Probably gonna use it for like my daily makeup that I bring to the office, etc. Speaking of the office, that is what theme this is going to be. We are gonna come up with some really swanky design, hopefully, and we're gonna iron it onto here. Let's come up with a fun design or something that we can put on here. So as I was thinking what I just said about a makeup bag for the office, office makeup. The first scene that came into my head is when Dwight is giving everyone like photo IDs and Phyllis comes in with a full face of makeup on and he says, oh, what is that on your face? Is that a disguise? This feels like the perfect thing to put on my makeup bag. Instead of it being vertical, it would be really small. I'm going to cut it and put them side to side. So unfortunately, when I printed this one, the text was too low quality. Not what we want. Let's keep brainstorming. Michael Scott quotes. This is good. I am Beyonce always. Oh, that's good. I cannot express how much fun I'm having just like getting to make some merch for my own personal enjoyment. Okay, so we are just gonna very quickly iron this little makeup bag. Moment of truth with this one. Oh no. I did it the exact same way though. That's a big bummer. That would have been so good. Should I try the other side? Okay, so we are gonna try on the other side one of my other just favorite office moments when Dwight cuts the mask off of the CPR dummy and reenacts a scene from one of my favorite movies, Silence of the Lamb. I really hope this one works out. I'm just gonna leave it on for a super long time and hopefully more will transfer off. All right, so this little canvas bag just does not wanna be our friend. Okay, so it was kind of better in some parts actually. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a tad frustrating. We almost had something really cool. So the office one kind of failed there for a little bit. That's okay though, because we are going to move on to the next one. One of my favorite cartoons growing up was a show called Totally Spies. If you have heard of it, we're in the same club. It's about three Beverly Hills teenagers and they are spies. It's amazing. So I found a little screenshot from this show that I'm gonna print out and put on this crew neck. I think this one, I'm just gonna like put it in the dead center. So we are just gonna print it out and hope for the best. Now, I did notice that the iron on sheets that I got say that they're for light clothing. This is black. We are gonna see how this turns out. Like, I can't think of like why it wouldn't work, but we'll find out. So this is the image we're printing. Let's see how it turns out. So we have it cut out. I think, I think I'm in love. I feel like that would just be like a really cute little moment to put on this. Hopefully this will transfer perfectly. I really wanted to find a white crew neck so I could dye it like a really light pastel color, but they didn't have any white ones. So hopefully this one works out. We're just gonna go for it. I, uh, I think I see why it was meant for light fabrics. So thanks to Battle Universe, we have another plain white t-shirt that I can reprint this design on. Cause yeah, this, this isn't really gonna do it for us. This is really upsetting. Okay, round two for Totally Spies. Here we go. I really wish you guys would have seen my reaction when that just happened. Oh my goodness. Guys, look at how freaking cute this one is. Oh, it all worked out. I really like kind of the bagginess of it just tucked in. This one turned out so freaking well. Hey Woods, name this show. Oh. Do you uh, recognize it? Yeah, I never really watched it. Did you just do that? Yeah, I just did it. Wow, that's really good. Is it the spy show? Yes! The American spy or something? Get, get American spy. It was totally spies. Totally trendy. Totally trendy. Totally trendy. All right, now get back to work. <laughs> name this show. I uh, totally trendy. No, not totally. <laughs> no, totally spy. Yes, but you got the connection. Uh, so I've been making like my own merch for like some of my favorite TV shows today. And uh, this was one of them. I wasn't allowed to watch it. So me and my sisters would secretly watch it at a friend's house. I, I love, love that, that, that show. I, I'm obsessed with it. I love Totally Spies. I know, Totally Spies was Hi. my favorite. I know. It's pretty dope. Did you ever watch Totally Spies? Yeah, of course. 
Can you make me a shirt, dude? Yeah, that's what Pat said. Pat wants a friend's Whoa, one too. Well, that's actually sick. It looks like one you could buy at like Urban Outfitters. I remember that show. I don't remember the name. Totally Spies. Totally Spies. Yo, throwback Disney. The throwback. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Disney. Why does it say Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, and Disney Channel? This is crap. What? It was a French and Canadian show, so it was on multiple networks. What? That I'm was... so confused. See, that's what I'm saying. It just bounced around from networks. That's See, crazy. I learned more from that than I did from your shirt. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it It was obviously stressful at certain points, but I highly recommend you guys do this make your own merch for TV shows movies Etc. Obviously buy the originals to support like come up with your own designs and everything But like this is so much fun So do it tag me on Instagram if you guys do and I will see you guys in the next one